Hey, how y'all doing? How everybody doing? Everybody good? Good. Okay, 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 okay. What's up, little man? What's up, homie? How you doing? Good. You doing all right? You know, you just gonna shake man and walk away? What's up, DJ? Yeah. How are you, DJ? You left? Man, you sure you ain't 14? No, I'm not 14. I was gonna say, hey, I was gonna say 18. How are you? 11. You should, you should say it 12. I got 12. All right. All right. Uh, I want you to know that we're so honored and blessed for this event. Uh, it is truly a way that we say we give back. When we see such an esteemed gentleman as yourself open up your generosity to our community. Uh, it's one of those things that when you come from a small town, you, that's ingrained in you. So again, on behalf of the Academy, we really thank you, and especially here in Trustful, for this event. Appreciate it, appreciate it, man. We two kids short, man. You want to join? Well, I'm doing, uh, I'm giving away uh, $100 to, uh, to uh, little kids. We got one? Him and somebody else? Come on. Okay, next so, you just walk around finding something that you need for $100? How you doing? How you doing? I've been trying to meet you for the longest. You doing that? Yeah. Thank you, baby. The name of my uh, charity is Mario Addison Community Partnership. It's located in the uh, inner city of Birmingham. What I'm doing with this, I'm targeting, you know, like low income homes, the hood, quote unquote, the people that really need help. Families, like me, that, was, that grew up, you know, that didn't have much. And then, where I grew up at, you know, did nobody come see us? Like, no NFL player, no, no, nobody that was really a big name come, you know, check on us and, and do that. And my charity is a way for me to give back and show different communities. Not only just my community, I do it all over Birmingham. Um, I did quite a few things over Birmingham. I do it to show them that, you know, somebody cares. Like, I really care. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for coming. I enjoyed all y'all. Y'all enjoy y'all self, man, and stay hydrated. This is the high school I played at right here before they built a new one. So, so the last time I played this field was 2006. What really made me want to get back to my community, man, like the way I grew up. And I'm going to show you where that at when we leave here. It was um, it's pretty rough, man. Pretty rough, man. You know, the city of Birmingham just really ain't take care of it, man. It just, it's just like they threw us out there, man. Just kind of left us out there. You know, it's kind of, it's just how it is, man. We had to fend for ourselves. I respect everybody I grew up with, man. Cause we made it work. We made it work no matter what, man. It's crazy. These used to be my classrooms, man. This used to be my science room right here. Crazy, man. It's been over 10 years ago. This used to be my science room right here, man. When was, it, when was the last time people were in the school, man? Um, last time, maybe, I graduated 06, 07, with the last year they what's the car, 08. Oh, 10. Oh, this is my brother right here, man. And we grew up, man. Right here at 3128, man. That house right there, man. We right stayed. There, that's the spot. Hey, Grandma that's stayed there about 20 years, man. That's my room right there, man. Hey, the Boston Wonder, man. That's my room, room right right there. There. My room right there with a fan that. Grew up right there, man. How you doing? Good. What up, Doc? How you doing, man? We'll be a lot of players out of tomorrow. Need the God shots, man. When I first moved here, when I was little, it wasn't even no gate out here. Then, you know, crime started picking up, man. Then they put the gate up. You know, kids going around here, like, setting dumpsters on fire. You know, uh, destructive, man. Like, busting out windows, you know what I'm saying? Going to people's homes, you know, taking their things, stealing their things. 
And sometimes, you know what I'm saying, it be the kids in the neighborhood that's doing everything. And you know, people know who's doing it, but be so afraid to, you know, speak up. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, Mario? What How y'all doing? Mario? How y'all doing? What up? What up? I wonder if you live over You live over here. You live, you live over here in the summertime. Nah, I, don't live, I used to live over here when I was younger. I know. Yeah. Raise your hand if you come to my youth camp tomorrow. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna Raise your hand. All y'all coming to my camp tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Y'all y'all ready to have fun? Yeah. Right, we gonna have we gonna have fun now. Huh? You gonna be in the What tomorrow? Nah. No today. We gonna come to the camp tomorrow. Tomorrow. You know, at the end of the day, we, we gotta look out for each other. You know. One thing about us, you know, we used to fight among each other here and there, but we was family. And then we wouldn't stay mad at each other for a while. And, and at times you need a brother or a sister to, you know, um, to push you. You know, in the community, you know, even though it's, it's called a hood, we, we looked out for each other. For me to give back to them, you know, and that's, that's it's not, it don't even know, add up to all the things that, you know, they might have done for me. But to see their face and the smiles, at the end of the day, man, when people fail to realize, man, we all family, man. We all human beings. We all have emotion. We feel this type of way, we feel that type of way. We all the same, man. Just because our skin color is different, that don't mean anything. We all just one, one person, man. We, 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 we're a family. We're a family, man. Uh, you know, to show them that, you know, somebody cares. You know, uh, when I was growing up, you know, people didn't really host camps like this or come back to give back to the kids, you know, so we had to, like, fend for ourselves. These are the kids I want to give back to because I want them. I'm bringing in, like, 8 to 10 NFL players, you know, from all over different teams for the youth can, you know, um, buy with them, you know, learn a couple of things from them. And, I'm mainly doing it because, you know, to show them that somebody care, now I'm in a position to give, that, that, that's what I want to do. That, that's the least I can do, because I care. So now that I'm able to do it, do it. It's just, it's just simply that, do it.